Shalom, this is Ephraim Buckwold, and we're celebrating today the 100th anniversary of the Balfour Declaration, which was issued on November 2nd, 1917. Now, the Balfour Declaration really was the document that began the process of establishing a state in Israel, which happened in 1948. But it was pretty amazing that it actually happened. Arthur Balfour was the British Foreign Secretary, and he had a relationship with a man by the name of Dr. Chaim Weizmann, who was a scientist who, in 1916, had developed acetone, which became a very important ingredient in the naval bombs that helped Britain win the wars. And they became friendly, and Weizmann gave him a whole education about the importance of Israel to the Jewish people. And being a fundamentalist Christian, he also looked with favor upon the establishment of a state or a home, a Jewish home for the Jewish people. And that's what he issued in 1917. He said, His Majesty's government view with favor the establishment in Palestine of a national home for the Jewish people. He didn't say a Jewish state. He just said an, a Jewish home, which of course opens up a lot of issues uh, with the Palestinians. Now, it also said that they can't do anything that would prejudice the local non-Jewish residents at that time. So, Balfour issued this declaration uh, with the approval of the Prime Minister of England, who was also a fundamentalist Christian, Lord, Joy, Lord George, and um, presented it to Lord Rothschild, who was the head of the Jewish community. This was then ratified in 1922 by the League of Nations, so it became an official document. Now, it's so interesting because Britain had not won the war. They really didn't control Palestine. It was still controlled by the Ottomans whom they were fighting. But they were hoping that they would be used this as a negotiating point to get the local people to support the British effort against the Ottomans and the Turks at that time. So really, while obviously there was diplomacy involved in this, it was really the hand of God. And that's why we look at November 2nd, 1917 as another point in Jewish history where God's hand was involved heavily and mightily. And thank God today we have the state of Israel. Mazel tov.